Hello, welcome to the Counterattack playthrough series. We are starting turn three of Washington's War, 1776. Let's see what's going on. As I said, it was 1776. British get one reinforcement in the reinforcement phase. So I'll go ahead and add that to the three already there. Then the strategy card phase. Already dealt the cards. Uh, the Americans, well, let's take a look at the British first. Did the British have any campaign cards? They have an American event, three ops, three ops, two ops, three ops, two ops. British event, let's see, what does this do? It removes an American PC marker from any two non-port spaces in New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, okay. They uh, decline to go first because they can't. Then the Americans have, um, looks like a, can make a British discard a card, but only if the French alliance has occurred, which it has not. Three ops, two ops, two ops, three ops, three ops, two ops. Oh, a lot of ops, okay. Um, so I, th I think, uh, let's see, what, so what do the Americans want to do? Do they want to go first or second? What can the British do to them? I don't think they can do much to them um, that requires them to go first. Um, I guess the British could squeeze into Pennsylvania but uh, the Americans have a good, you know, they have enough in Pennsylvania to keep it. So I think they're going to let the British go first. So that was the strategy card phase, starting the strategy phase. Okay, I think the British is going to start with this Iroquois Uprising. Um, so he can remove an American PC marker from any two non-port spaces in New Hampshire, New York, or Pennsylvania that does not contain an American unit. So I was thinking, uh, you know, we lost these guys over here due to isolation. So um, I'm thinking one of them is going to be Oswego here. So we can try to like get back in over there just to be a threat. Um, okay, that's one. And then, uh, and that was in New York. New Hampshire or Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Oh, interesting. Um, well, New Hampshire I'm not too fired up about, but you know, um, here, let's do, let's do a Pennsylvania. I like this one. Is that what I like? I like this one over here. Okay. That was the two. Okay, I think the Americans need to amend their fences here. Three ops for political control markers. Um, so let's see if they can try to get New York back under control up here. So Oswego, um, that blocks the British coming this way. Uh, then uh, Saratoga blocks them from coming down this way. And then um, how about Albany blocks them from coming up this way. Um, so kind of nice is these three guys are all surrounding an empty space. So if I just leave that empty, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they won't ever be isolated. Um, let's see. So what do we got here? We have one, two, three British and one, two, three, four American in New York. So the Americans have taken New York back. Is that New York? Nope. New York. Okay, the British, they have a decent number of three ops and two ops cards. So I think they're going to spend a three ops for a political control action as well. Why am I doing that and not using my generals well? I feel like there's a decent number of openings around here still. For example, we can spend one to spread from uh, Morristown into Reading. Um, okay, so they're now in Pennsylvania. Still American controlled though. Three to one. Um, we can also spread deeper into other areas over here. Um, I guess I'm inclined to uh, spread into Richmond. And um, spread, let's see, what are my general, where are my generals? I think I can take out a Massachusetts over it. Um, I need a general. Um, to be there. So, let's see. I mean, I can't go further into Pennsylvania because I already, um, this guy, can't, I can't daisy chain from things that were just placed. So, you know, maybe we'll just um, keep keep the pressure on. So, let's go down into um, North Carolina this way. Block that guy. Um, so, North Carolina situation is na it's neutral. Um, no, it's gone British. Okay, um, yep, American's going to spend three ops, they're bringing in three reinforcements. Um, so I should put that in the American slot over here. 
and uh, they're going to bring a general in with them. I think we're going to bring in, um, yeah, all the generals are kind of lousy. I guess we'll bring in this Gates character with three, and I think we'll place them. Hmm, where could this guy do the most interesting stuff? So I'm kind of thinking I want to like start moving these guys around. I don't have any more campaign cards. That's probably my chance to do a lot of good. Um, and just start knocking the British back in certain areas. So the Northeast, where, you know, I'm doing okay. I'm making a decent comeback there. Um, I think I want him sort of away from the fighting for a, a few. I think I'm going to place him just out this way. Try to knock some of these hinterland British political control markers out. British, they're going to use two ops to bring in reinforcements. They're going to bring in Burgoyne with four um, units. And I think we're, we're going to continue a press in the north. Um, I think we'll bring them into uh, Falmouth. Right there. Okay, just try to maybe push green back or something. Okay, American's gonna spend a three ops. Political control. Let's see. Just kinda, if I have my generals walking around trying to knock political control out, I don't want it just to fill back in easily. So um, let's see, I'll spread from gates to here. Um, maybe from, what? can't see that far, but someplace in Pennsylvania, spread down to there. So I want, and then from here, spread over to here. Okay, so situation in Virginia looks like four, no, three American, four British. Okay, that did not change. North Carolina, two American, three American, three British. North Carolina's gone neutral again. British can activate uh, two ops to activate Burgoyne. He's got a two rating. Maybe that's the initiative rating. Uh, okay, so you can do four moves, including a battle. You know, I, I want to push green out of uh, New Hampshire. Now, if I move over here and attack green and he retreats, well, the only place he can retreat to is here. <laughs> um, because this is Brit uh, British. And would that have helped me at all by doing that? Not really, not really. Um, so maybe instead I should... Hmm. Just move him and try to get it on a PC marker to try to get a little more isolation of things. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll do... One, we'll just go there, conquered, done. Now green has the chance to intercept, except he doesn't have combat units, so I guess he can't. Um, wow, that was not that big of a move, was it? That's okay. Okay, the Americans, uh, let's see, two ops for more political control actions. Still trying to shore up things around here. So British are coming into Pennsylvania, although it doesn't look too scary there. Um, also down here, I think I'm gonna spread from here to here. That blocks them from going that way. Um, and maybe shore up back here, um, place here. So if I can like block that, these British guys will be isolated or um, yeah, something like that. In fact, maybe this guy should go here. There we go. If I do that, he is not isolated, but these are isolated. Okay, that's better than moving my generals. All right. like it. Now, the British, to save those guys from being isolated, I have this uh, John Paul Jones shipping raids. Uh, maybe played by the American player in any strategy phase. One strategy card is randomly removed from the British hand. So they can't play this, but they can discard it to remove an adjacent American marker. So I'll use that to get a free space back there. 
Um, but I want to save this for the last, for our last cards. That way the Americans can't buy it. Um, well, they could buy it, but it'd be useless to them because it'd be our other cards. So I'm going to save this for my last card. So instead, I will play a three ops because um, that's all I got left. I have two three ops left. Um, I think we're going to do political control. Um, first one was up here, Burgoyne. He's going to flip this to British. Okay, New Hampshire is still American, though. And I have two left. So I need to start shoring things up out here as well. Um, I think we will oops, continue our spread into Pennsylvania. And then the third one, um, we'll just try to you know, make it as tough as possible for those generals to do much. Okay, so North Carolina's got one, two, three, four British, one, two, three American. So North Carolina's gone British, so that's a lot of fighting going on there. Let me just double check Virginia, one, two, three, four American, four British. So Virginia's out. Is that Virginia? Nope. Virginia, yep. Um, hmm, I think I had it incorrect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, and then, yeah, that's fine. You know, I think I want to do like a winter offensive at some point. That means I have to send Washington out on the warpath using my last card. So uh, maybe I will discard this card because I can't use it until the French alliance has occurred anyway. So discard that and remove like this British marker here. Um, I don't know if you can see that back there. So um, the idea being it places um, a spot, well, you know, I'm going to do this one instead. So what that does for me is when Washington moves out, he can go attack Clinton from here. Now, if he loses, he can retreat back to here safely. If it was British controlled and he fought Clinton and lost and had to retreat, he'd retreat into a British PC marker and it would have to be eliminated. He'd have to surrender. So that would be bad, because Washington is the only general that doesn't come back upon surrender. So we'll, we'll do that. And, uh, you know, the British player, which is also played by me, might know that, but I'm going to try to pretend I don't know what's going on. Um, what maybe I, I'm trying to make the other player think I'm doing is make New Jersey go more to my side, because it just went neutral. Okay, the British three ops card. Um, so I can spend it for PC markers and try to fill this in, which I probably would try to, so I can keep New Jersey. Um, also make it so, you know, it's clear that would be a good defensive benefit to keep Washington from coming at me. Um, but also in a winter offensive, Washington um, would end up in a non-winter quarters. And so he would lose two units um, just through winter attrition. So maybe I'm safe just leaving that open. Um, because one thing I can do is try to kill a couple birds with one stone, or I guess I'd be killing one bird and planning for the other, uh, which is I can activate Burgoyne, or maybe better, Carlton. And, hmm, I'm not sure which one's better. Basically, to try to trap Green in here, make him move out, and then I can just, slow, you know, slowly move through here and just kind of crunch the Americans all the way out of here. Um, do I want to move Carlton? Because I do have a three. I don't want to give Green an opening, though, um, to come up into Canada, is what I, what I mean. Um, so maybe we'll just, you know, eek Burgoyne along one more space to um, Brattleboro. Brattleboro. Okay, and then uh, Green has the option to intercept, but he doesn't have an army, so I guess he doesn't really. Okay. Um, woo! Americans have two two ops cards left. We want to use one potentially for a winter offensive, so we're gonna use one. I think I'm a new. I'm, I think I'm good with political control at the moment, so I'm gonna get some generals moving. I mean, I put them down for a reason, right? So uh, maybe we'll get Gates back here. Um, what did I want to do with Gates? You know, those guys are gonna wither um, unless the British try to do something about it. I think uh, maybe we'll just try to get Gates moving. Trying to clean some things up this way. So I'll just go one. So during isolation or political control phase at the end of the turn, that'll go to him. 
Okay. Now the British, last card. This can't help the Americans. So they're going to play John Paul Jones Shipping Raids. They're going to discard it. And they're going to use that to eliminate an American unit with no combat units adjacent to one of these. So they'll eliminate that. They preserved South Carolina, the, those control markers down there. Um, not sure if that was a good move or not, but that was the plan. Final card of the Americans, two ops. So I could try to re-isolate that spot. That might be a good move. Just keeps the British out of there and I can slowly start pushing my way back up. Um, or I can get Washington in on this. So let me just think about this. I can have Washington go in. He's pretty tough general, but so is Clinton. Clinton has five combat units, so does Washington. Clinton would have the Royal Navy because of the port. They also have regulars. So that's a couple extra bonus points. Um, if Washington fails, he'd retreat to here. He'd have, you know, potentially lost one, two, or three units. So let's say it's three. You'd have two units here, and then the British would have a chance to get the jump on him, but he'd probably be able to retreat. I'm just trying to think, do I want to fight right now? I feel like I, I need to be fighting, because one thing about winning, if the Americans win battles, for every battle they win, this French alliance chart moves up, and hasn't moved once, because I haven't attacked anyone. Once it gets to nine, which is looking pretty far away there, uh, the French will come in, and they have you know a decent general and a fleet and things like that. So, um, yeah, just tough choice. You know, maybe I just want to wait until I get like another campaign card as well. So, I think I'm gonna just go the wimpier way. I'm gonna do three political control markers. I'm gonna put one back here anyway. Isolate those guys out. Um, are there any other good ones to place to isolate things? Not really. Oh, oh, oh. This isn't going to be good. These guys are all isolated. Oh, no, they can trace to here. Okay. Um, I think we'll spread our influence into New Jersey. Just solidify that little path there. Um, we've taken New Jersey. Okay, we got one more. Um, that's going to fall, so that'll go American. Those will wither. Just trying to keep, block things up here. I think we need to block in Pennsylvania. I don't want this guy to go back up here. Um, yeah, we'll go there. Okay. Um, cool. That's the end of the strategy phase. Now for winter attrition. Start down here. Arnold loses half his forces. Gate says three. Half of three is 1.5. Round down, that's a one, so it goes to two. Seems good, like having armies of size 3 is better than having armies of size 4, um, if if you're not actually fighting with them. Okay, um, Cornwallis is in a wintering area. Washington's wintering, Clinton's wintering, wintering how's wintering, Burgoyne, yeah, Burgoyne. Not wintering. Um, so he's going to lose half, I believe. You know, I haven't seen how the British work when they're not in wintering. Oh, same as Americans, so half of 4 is 2. And this is because they're out in... Um, not areas that are not equipped to winter formations of troops. Not in winter quarters. Green is just a general by himself. These guys are fine. These guys haven't done anything the whole game. What do they have there? Just two. Okay, um, that is the winter attrition phase. French naval phase. Well, the French are still not in and probably never going to be in. Political control phase. Are there any generals on enemy... Markers. We're going here in New Hampshire. Let's take in New Hampshire. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let's get New Hampshire back to British. Oof. Okay, these guys, they're all on friendlies, friendlies, friendlies. This is an uh, enemy. Um, what is that? Lynch, Lynch's Ferry. Okay. What's the situation? Well, we'll, well after all the political control, I'll, I'll make sure everything's correct here. Okay, I think that's it. Now for um, the isolation. Uh, Americans first. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. I was thinking I was stupid for a second. This guy is not isolated because he can trace to there, which traces to there. Just kind of cruising through here. 
Um, I believe the Americans are all good. Yep, including this one. You chasing to a general. Okay, British. Uh, we know there's going to be some bad ones. Um, over here, we're looking pretty good. These guys trace out to a port, or they can just trace right to there. Um, yeah, this guy isolated. This guy isolated. And that guy has a port. Nothing else around here is isolated, okay? Um, let me just do a quick check. Georgia's American. South Carolina's American. North Carolina, three and three. It's gone back to neutral. Virginia, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Virginia is American. Um, Maryland has not changed hands. Delaware, Pennsylvania is two British, three American. Um, New York, or New Jersey, we're good. Two out of three. Connecticut, British. Rhode Island, British. Massachusetts, British. Um, New Hampshire, British. Canada, British. And what was that? New York. New York, uh, if you, let's see, um, two, four Americans, two, three British, yes, so New York is American, yeah, okay, uh, that looks good, next is the end phase, which uh, for us is not very exciting, advance to 1778, we'll catch you then.